Western Sultan Military Medical City, or PSMMC for short, is one of the largest and most advanced medical centers in Saudi Arabia. It was established in 1978 in Riyadh under the Ministry of Defense and mainly serves members of the armed forces and their families. The purpose of PSMMC is to provide high quality, comprehensive healthcare in line with international standards, while also supporting medical education, training, and research. Our goal is to deliver excellent healthcare, advanced medical education, encourage research and innovation, and to ensure readiness during emergencies, making PSMMC a true center of excellence. The Antimicrobial Stewardship Center of Excellence is recognition awarded to hospitals that meet the highest standard in managing antimicrobial use. Its goal is to ensure antimicrobial are always used appropriately, the right drug, right dose, and for the right duration, based on evidence-based guidelines. The center not only improves the patient outcome and safety, but also reduces antimicrobial resistance and healthcare costs. Today, while ensuring the future of effectiveness of antimicrobial and serve as national model for excellence in antimicrobial stewardship. In alignment with the Saudi vision 2030 and the National Healthcare Transformation Project, reflecting the kingdom commitment to improve healthcare quality and patient safety. Prince Sultan Military Medical City has been accredited by the Infectious Disease Society of America, IDSA, as a center of excellence in antimicrobial stewardship, positioning as a leader both nationally and internationally in advancing antimicrobial stewardship. Our team actively participated in both medical and surgical patients to ensure appropriate antimicrobial prescribing through applying evidence-based decision. We implementing a prospective audit and feedback including interventions such as ensuring appropriate indication for antimicrobial use, promoting IV to oral conversion, antimicrobial de-escalation, discontinuation of unnecessarily antibiotic, therapeutic drug monitoring, and optimizing antimicrobial dosing and duration. We also collaborating with our informatic specialists to develop real-time dashboard to support the early detection of antimicrobial misusing and resistant to trending. As science is advancing, we are facing multiple challenges with antimicrobial resistance being one of the global threats. This threat has many dimensions like those related to availability of advanced diagnostics, especially those involving the molecular methods. The other challenge we face is lack of enough clinical expertise in analyzing the data received from automated lab systems. Moreover, there is lack of use of optimized antimicrobial use across different specialities in hospital, which is a daily challenge in life of infectious disease physician. One of the main challenges in surgery is balancing infection prevention with avoiding unnecessary antibiotics, since overuse drives resistance and increases risk like sepsis, limited treatment options and higher costs. Our approach to ensure prophylactic antibiotics are given appropriately with the right drug in the right time and the right duration while maintaining strict sterile technique. Microbiology works closely with the Antimicrobial Stewardship Center by providing essential services such as accurate pathogen identification using MALDITOF and rapid diagnostic system including PCR for detecting MRSA, CRE, VRE which help guide targeted therapy. We also generate antibiogram to support empiric treatment guidelines and educate healthcare provider on proper specimen collection to reduce contamination, ensure accurate diagnosis, and promote effective antimicrobial use. My role is to ensure that infection prevention principles are well integrated into antimicrobial decision making. I collaborate closely with my colleagues to monitor and provide multi-drug resistant organisms and hospital acquired infection rates in our hospital to identify area for improvement and therefore to guide intervention that reduce hospital acquired infection and antimicrobial resistance. I also contribute to policy development staff education and surveillance activity. We provide a one-month rotation for infectious diseases fellows, and we have just initiated a one-year local training program for two trainees. Training emphasizes rational prescribing, microbiology, interpretation, and stewardship leadership. 
In addition, we provide lectures for pharmacists, microbiologists, and infection control teams, along with patient education campaigns to enhance stewardship practices, reduce resistance, and improve patient care. We are focusing on clinical study that evaluated optimal use, shorter treatment duration, and alternative therapy. We are also conducting research that combine rapid diagnostic tool with a stewardship intervention to make treatment more targeted. In addition, we are in the process of applying artificial intelligence with our antimicrobial stewardship center to enhance decision making and optimizing antibiotic use. Quality is incorporated into antimicrobial stewardship by measuring and monitoring performance to enhance patient safety, like day of therapy, MDRO rate and CDEF rate. Establishing a framework for continuous improvement by conducting quality improvement projects, ensuring adherence to policies and standards. In the next 10 to 20 years, I believe we will see major advance in rapid diagnostic that enable truly personalized antibiotic use. We can also expect the development of new classes of antibiotic and alternative therapies such as phage therapy and vaccines. Additionally, strong global stewardship program and enhanced surveillance network will help slow antimicrobial resistance and improve patient outcome worldwide. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.